Hi students, I'm Jeff, and today's grammar topic is the passive. This is a very common, useful, and important tense, so let's take a look at it. Let's start by comparing the active voice with the passive voice. Most sentences are written in the active voice, which involves the subject and a verb. For example, number one, James eats hamburgers every week. So you have James, the subject, eats, which is the verb, and then hamburgers, which is the object. The subject performs the action on the object. The subject does the action. In the passive voice, the subject does not perform the action. It is acted upon. The verb be and a past participle are needed. We use the passive if it is not known who performed the action, if it is obvious who performed the action, or if we don't want to mention who did it for some reason. For example, number two, my wallet has been stolen. I don't know who did it. Three, the baby was born on July 14th. Obviously, the mother performed the action. The verb here is bear, which means to carry. Four, many cars are made in Japan, obviously by Japanese auto manufacturers. Five, the secretary told her boss, it looks as if some money is being stolen from our accounts every month. She knew who the thief was, but she didn't want to make that person mad at her. She still had to say something to her boss, though. Five. Sometimes by phrases are used to indicate who or what performed the action. This is important if we need to know who or what did something or if we want to focus on the object. Six. War and Peace was written by Leo Tolstoy. 7. The car was damaged by the falling tree. We can use the passive in many different tenses. Note the use of the simple present in numbers 1 and 4, the present progressive in number 5, the present perfect in number 2, and the simple past in numbers 3, 6, and 7. Also notice how in number 2, the passive present perfect is formed by the combination of have and been in a past participle. And number five, the passive present progressive is formed by combining be and being and a past participle. We'll look at the passive in more difficult tenses in future lessons. And finally, do not forget to use be with the passive. This is the most common mistake. All right, now it's time for the exercise. So pause the video, Review the material if you need to, and do the exercise. When you're done, come back and we will go over the answers. All right, let's see how you did. Number one. Relax, kids. It's going to be okay. The police have been called. They'll be here soon. Or were called. Two. So what happened? Why were you left here all alone? Three. We were with our father. Our car was stolen when we stopped to rest. Four. And she was knocked down by the thief. That's how she got hurt. Five. Well, where's your father? Was he kidnapped? Six. He is being taken to a gas station down the road. 7. What? If children are left by their parents, they could get hurt. 8. He is being driven there by a guy on a motorcycle. There was only room for one of us. 9. Oh, I see. I hope the crime has been reported so the police can arrest the guy. Or was reported. And 10. 
A car is stolen every 20 seconds in this country. Don't ask me how I know. Let's just hope the cops get here soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know how you did on this exercise during our lesson, and take care.